Hey guys, it's Rob from the Lost Bricks, bringing on the latest Lego news, reviews, and hauls. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And if you've seen my videos before and you've already subscribed, thank you very much. So today, I've come all the way to Lincoln, which is approximately a four hour drive. Wow, yes, I know. But all the venues I attend, apart from Swansea last week, are always quite far. So as you can see, got the van, it's already loaded. So we had Lincoln. University Leisure Centre. There's the entrance. So we're going to go inside and start looking to see where we are and then get our stuff in, get a table set up, ready for half past nine and then 10 o'clock the early bird people will start to come in. So join me later guys and hopefully it will be a very successful day and as long as them, oh, them pesky storm troopers they be out and about today guys. You watch them after, they'll be out and about. As you can see, these are our two tables for the day. We started bringing some things in already. So let's go and get all the rest in, get the tablecloths and start setting up. So as you can see, this is our stall today. So let's have a look what we're selling. We've got some Sonic and Monkey Kids, art set, all different poly bags, the vintage Lego, keyring stand, all the minifigures in the display cabinets. So we raised the bottom ones up this week, so obviously you can see them um, behind the ones at the front. So before we were hidden last time. Got some more keyrings, and some poly bags. Got some stationery today as well. Got some pens, all different colours: blue, red, and black. Got some Star Wars, some of the brickheads, Super Mario, Jurassic Park. We've got some books. The front on the stand. And some of the key rings. And behind, got some shelving. We've all set on top of it. There you go, so all different ones. Doing some dimensions. Got a bag with all spare sets. Put some more spare sets at the back and all underneath as well. We've got all the spare sets as well. And obviously, the storage boxes we put at the back. So we put sets on top of it as well. So you've got that extra display area. So we put a bit more today because we're doing another festival tomorrow. So hopefully, we sell quite a lot, but we have quite a bit left for tomorrow. And it's the back of our stall. I, at the moment, I haven't got my slippers on, I still got my trainers, but I'll be changing very soon. So hopefully it'll be a really busy day. So National Bricks event, they do a lot of things for children. So this is the child play area. So they do a lot of activities and they all free at charge. So it's a little bit extra for the kids to have a bit of extra fun. You know, it could be quite a long day if the parents are looking around. So they can bring the children over and they can do all different activities. So let's have a look at them. Okay, so the first one is Lego Pets. So you can come over and you've got four different, well actually you've got five, big Lego Pets of all different bricks, all colours, shapes and styles. So they can play and make their heart content. So the next one is the memory game. So you go, so the idea is they move the pieces and try and remember where they went. You've got like a minifigure, dog, bag, all different things. So onto the colouring section. So you got all different colouring ones. You got Batman here. As you can see he's still setting up. You got Star Wars. Ninjago and Harry Potter. And you've got the large bricks here as well. So it's a soft play area. 
So a safe filter under play with a safety flow and a super size bricks. And they do another thing which I haven't set up yet. No, that's right. But I know it's not Lego. Lego. So we do a mini figure hunt. But and they put Lego pictures throughout Lego. the venue and children go around and you look for these pictures with the letters. Oh, sorry, I thought yeah. I was reading. I'm sure you haven't been there now. There's the ladies holding them up. So you go around, find all these, and then you got to try and spell the missing word. <laughs> so it's extra fun. Plus it sends the children around. They get a look at all the different displays and all the different sellers. Okay, as you can see, this is built by Barry Roberts. So you've got the Millennium Falcon. See Han Solo inside. There you go. So it's like the Death Star trench run. See the little Storm Trooper on the skateboard. You see all the details, amazing. Side Fighters. See Darth Vader inside. With Luke Skywalker. And he's gonna chop his hand off in the machine. Storm Troopers is in the kitchen. C3 Fuel is found. A tin man. Well, well, you can see all the detail in all the little sections. It looks absolutely amazing. Mm. On to the next one. You've got an absolutely huge Millennium Falcon. It's really, really good. Okay, so we've seen these before as well. We've got a Super Mario section. You, go, you can see them, he's absolutely huge. See all the detail in there, even the base. Again, we've seen some of these before, especially like the key. Look at the detail in the key. Really, really good. Amazing. On to the Simpsons section. So, at the back, you can see they got the pictures. You got Bart, Homer, and Marge. They look really, really good. I'm going to zoom in a bit. You can see all the little pieces made. There you go. So again, you can see the different buildings. So some of these are custom, and some are actually bought. So you've got the Simpsons house and car. Ned Flanders next door. You've got the church. Got Moose Tavern. The Homer and comic book guy. We've got a quickie mat. Got Nelson about on skateboards. Again, Chief Wiggum, he's still got his handcuffs and his donut. He's still on board the snake. Krusty Burger. Krusty outside. Even the logo, you can see it's really good. It's all been made. All the detail. And lastly, Got a Springfield Elementary School. It doesn't look like anyone's in there today. I think you're all on a sky. So you can see all different characters on a Springfield Elementary bus. Okay, so this display here does stop animation. So you can see all the details if you want to look at them on um, YouTube. Take a look, guys. Just have a look at the things in action. So there you go. So there's the build. Obviously the stand for the camera. So obviously you move the little pieces and this is where all happens then. As you can see it's a pre-done one so you can have a look. So you can make your own little animations. So there you go. It's really clever isn't it? <laughs> have to come back after and have a go of it. So a lot of these vehicles we've seen before but if you're new to the channel, let's have a look at these together. So you can see different vehicles. The yellow Tonka truck. The Lancia. The Martini logos on it. You can see the custom National Bricks Events Ford car. Designed by Wilbur Designs. 
classic Batmobile from the 60s. The Coca Cola truck. Trotter's Independence. Robin Reliant. Mr. Bean's famous green mini. Another National Bricks event designed by Wilbo Designs. So you can see all the detail, even the wheels with a good good design on them. And then some sports cars at the back. Especially like all the like the pride type one with all the different colours, the rainbow effect, I think that's really really good. So there you go, you can see them all in one go. So let's have some more of the custom designed models. So you can see a big huge swimming pool outside a massive supposed to be like a wooden type house. I think that's really really good. We've got the train station. So there's no different angle today. Normally we see the front of it. So today we can actually see inside. So you can see the trains. Especially like the diverse characters while they're producing. We've got one person here in a wheelchair. I think that's really good. They're doing more and more of these sort of figures. Nice big white church. There you go. Or it could be like a big white mansion. It's absolutely huge with a sports car inside the garage. Victorian type building. The classic red car in the front. And the last one is the Pentagon. There you go, see the American flag. As you can see, all the models are really big. So you've got the bowling alley. I think it's really clever, especially the design work with the bowling pins and the ball built into the building. Going around. You've got the number of Victorian building, or you could see it looks like a uh, Back of the clock tower. It's called a casino. Should we go inside and try our luck? No, it looks like it's closed. Never mind, we can't gamble today. Maybe another day. On to the Trina Red Shop. So you can see all the details, see the bananas, cherries, and the pumpkin. On the Taco Bell. Maybe we have to go in after our dinner. Toys R Us building. So obviously Toys R Us was massive stores throughout the UK selling all different toys and all different things. And they went bankrupt quite a few years ago. But they got an online presence and also they rebranding into some stores such as W Smiths called Greg's. See when it opens if you get a bacon sandwich. Customer rooms. We've got a bank. Oh that, that one's open. I bet them pesky home troopers will be in there trying to cash in their dodgy 3D printed money. You are them pesky home troopers, you can't trust them. Like if I was them, look, I'd close it. Don't let them in. Keep closed, boys. Go to the post office. And around to IKEA. So again, you see all the detail in these mods, they're absolutely awesome. Not just the building, but the actual creation of them as well. A lot of time and effort goes into these things. And then the taxi rack. And the theatre. There you go. And the police station. So there you go. That's them all laid out in a little bit edge together. So we've got a display by Alex Turner. We're still setting up the stall. With all different displays so you can see the bionic cars. But the most impressive thing is these custom Doctor Who brick heads. So you've got all the different doctors, you've got the third, the fourth, the sixth. And my favourite one is the tenth, David Tennant. So it's really unusual, we've seen quite a lot of different custom and mid to order models. But these are very unusual because you've actually got boxes as well. Very, very clever. A lot of detail in the sets and the boxes. And Red Rocket. So custom models run on the end. 
and there's the instructions from them as well. So we're actually printed on the bottle as well. Really, really clever. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. Okay, so we got the DeLorean and the Jules Verne train from Back to the Future 3. So you got Marty train go to 88 miles an hour from the Wild West back to 1985 and you've got Doc Brown trying to save Clara you've got a Battlestar Galactica spacecraft you've got a Grey Dalek Force Armour so some of these are not custom they're actually set, it's made up you've got a large Ecto-1 the Iron Man Bust it's a lot of details, it's really good but it'd be a lot better than if you could actually lit the centerpiece, this chest piece. This is one of my favourite ones. Darth Maul. Black Panther. You can have a Dalek. You've got a little Gizmo. And an Ewok. Again, the build quality is really good. Okay, so we have the one on the sellers. It's Bob's Bricks. So there you go. Look at the QR code. And I take it to his eBay shop as well. So you can see his pricing is really competitive, it's really good. And also, his prices, instead of just using the post it notes or stickers, he's actually designed them himself. So don't forget, scan our QR code and go to his eBay shop. Let's have a look what you've got. So you've got the Disney sets for the city. The Minecraft set, especially like the Spider Man set with the Goblin figure, the little green goblin. Lord Speed Champions, really good price on them £18, £25 for an older one. Harry Potter, Jurassic Park, loads of Star Wars sets. Public Fighter Tank, £45, that's a really good price that is. It's normally a little bit dearer. And some of the Star Wars helmets as well. But it's laid out really, really good. So there you go. So don't forget, guys, check them out on eBay. Bob's Bricks. As you can see, it's 22 minutes past 11, and it's really, really busy. So there's loads of people coming in. I've got a lot of people buying my stall as well. So hopefully Sam be upselling all the little minifigures and all the accessories. Let's go back and sell some more stock. There they are. Guess who I spied? Them pesky stormtroopers. There they are. Doing a bit of good work with charity. Collecting money for autism. And the kids have an opportunity to take a photo with them. Personally, I, I wouldn't want a photo with them. Them, he uh, got a little helper, yeah. Holding a bucket. There they are. No doubt they'll make their way to my stall in any second now. Them pesky stormtroopers. So what are you going to be up to today? No, he called in some nice for a photo. There they are. Look at them. Pesky Stormtroopers. Good morning. Good morning, Pesky Stormtroopers. And the helper. <laughs> She's run away. I don't, I don't blame her. I tired as well. <laughs> oh, he's calling her over. Oh, you couldn't even be bothered with the dress up. What have you come as? <laughs> yes. Oh, what are you doing? Already causing trouble. Yes. Do you choke on them Welsh cakes or do you enjoy them? Nice? Good. Well, they have two. I don't trust these two. You want a pen today? They want a pen. They got real money. Oh, no. oh, it's not real no. money. What, what are we got today? now? Oh, it's, oh, they got a Disney it's dollar. Disney dollar today. <laughs> 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 Look, 
Da, schau ein, na klar. Da klar, ich muss wieder auf Mickey Mouse. Da klar, ich ich finde es Christmas, ich kann nicht laufen. Es ist voll da. Ach, na, das ist echt. Hey, jetzt, look at him. Look at him. Look at this. What is this? Talk about Mickey Mouse money. Look at that. Mickey Mouse money again. It actually is Mickey Mouse money this time. It's very good Mickey Mouse Shocking. money. Shocking. I'm going to take it out to Florida. Take it to Disneyland. Say, can I use this please in Disney World? They laugh at me. Look at that. <laughs> Hi guys, as you can see, I'm back in the van. So there's another day over and another National Brick event finished for the day. So how was Lincoln? So it wasn't too bad. It took a little while to find it. Um, we went to the wrong end of the campus, but it was, it was my fault. Too tired driving this morning. But there yeah, we, we got here. It was quite easily getting into the venue. It was quite a big place. The toilets were quite easily accessible from where all the people came in for the sellers and obviously the buyers so it, it was quite busy but I think with the recent press with the brick life I think it's had an adverse effect on some of the festivals so you can see it was a lot less people around what it normally is so a lot of people were walking around so we've done quite a lot of good sales on some key rings and minifigures and a couple of the big end sets but normally sell like a lot of pocket money sets you know up to like the value of 50 pounds and they were quite few today in all fairness talking to a lot of the other sellers they said the same sort of thing so i don't know if people are just watching him anymore or if obviously his brick life might have had an adverse effect but personally i think it's them stormtroopers i think he told people don't buy off lost bricks or if you do use fake money look at this guys i know i showed you earlier but i can't get all this look at that they supposed to be stormtroopers from star wars but they think he's blinking mickey mouse from disneyland look at them Disney dollar, one Disney dollar. They should have uh, given that, Yeah, they should have given that to the organisers. Look at that. I, that's not right, right to say. Do you know what I mean? You know, every week I get fake money and again I got to go to the bank, give it to the bank clerk or um, the accountant and they're going to say, What's this? Why did you take this for? But I can't help it, it's so funny. <laughs> but, oh. Yeah, they talked about her today. You know what? She didn't even dress up. She's ashamed of you, her parents. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no way she's weighing you, me. I can blame the girl. <laughs> I bet as soon as she could crawl, she moved out. <laughs> they see us after they kill me. So, Sam's laughing their head off, as always. But, yeah, all joking aside, they're really good, you know. <laughs> so I like the banter. Right? And a lot of people are saying, they're coming up and saying, oh, we like in the banter with the stormtroopers. But he be here tomorrow. He be, he be in Colchester. And that's where we're going tonight. We're driving all the way to Colchester. So it's a three hour drive from here. <laughs> and we're going to stay in the Travel Lodge. And then we'll be doing another National Brick event tomorrow. So obviously it'll be July the 2nd. So I'll probably upload the video probably Monday. And tomorrow's Tuesday. Because then we drive up there, get uh, in the hotel, have a bit of food. It's going to be really, really late. And obviously. Them stormtroopers tomorrow. Oh, I can see you now. I'm gonna lose sleep tonight thinking what are you gonna do tomorrow? Every single week will fail. Apart from when then it can be about turning up because he went to the, a, a was party. It a party for baby two one. Parties. That's right, yeah, they got two parties. The 21st and the first birthday. There you go, 21st and the first. Oh, poor kids, he don't stand a chance in life. Tomorrow there's gonna be loads of characters there, isn't there? Yep, so guys, you heard off Sam, so if she's wrong, right, take it back on her. There's supposed to be loads of characters there tomorrow, so. Hopefully Sam will see her favourite, Mandalorian and Baby Grogu. Hopefully he'll turn up. But if I'm pesky stormtroopers are there, he won't turn up. They don't want to be associated with them. <laughs> <laughs> but all you organise, I did. They do quite a lot for autism, collecting a lot of money. So if you check their Facebook page, you can see. And they all say the amount that they make. I don't want to say it on you because it's up to them. So just check their page and as you can see, they do make a lot of money for their charities. Obviously there's other charities out there where people support but that's the one they support is autism and I think it's a really, really good cause. So guys, I'm going out because i got a long drive so don't forget to share, like and subscribe and bye.